Today we will be looking at a small lightweight CO2 rifle from SMK and ask who is it suitable for as well as is it any good. It's the budget SMK CR 600 double centimetres or about 38 and a half inches and it weighs less than a decent pie and chips meal or 2.1 kilograms in metric. It has a handed beech wooden stock which is nicely stippled on the grip and forestock with a rubberized butt pad. But of course there's no noticeable recoil from this gun. It does however help make this a comfortable thing to use. It can be shot from a thumbs down or thumbs up position. When looking at the gun, it has all the appearance of a mini pre-charged with the long CO2 housing under that 56 centimeter long barrel. It takes two CO2 12 gram cartridges, but ironically only uses one at a time. The first cartridge goes in head first, along with the second, which also goes in head first, with its base that seats into the bottom of the screw thread. But only the first one is pierced and used. Not a bad idea as you only then use one CO2 at a time, but of course you're already carrying the spare for when it's needed which is likely to be after about 30 good shots. When tightening the end cap, I would suggest you carry something to carefully thread through the hole in the screw top to actually give it that last twist. And I presume the hole has been put there for this reason because tightening the top by hand is pretty impossible unless you want to risk losing most of your gas in the process. The action is bolt action and has the choice of either a nine shot magazine in this 177 caliber or a single shot loading via the supplied magnetic single shot tray. The magazine is the strange reverse type that requires the first pellet to be put in backwards after rotating the front against the spring. Then commence filling in the normal way. until of course you've got all nine shots in. Once done, slot the magazine into the breech where it is held in place magnetically. There is good and bad about this setup. First of all, it's a great idea to have the option of this nine shot magazine. It does take a little bit of getting used to, but is a simple process once practiced. It rotates in the breech faultlessly and has a lock open bolt after the last round is fired, which is a nice touch. The only downside I found was the screw holding the magazine together is somewhat loose and can work its way completely loose. But if you tighten it up, then you can't turn the front to load it just something to be aware of really. The bolt action itself is pretty smooth and worked faultlessly. The trigger has a smooth action and just in front of this is the manual safety catch which is a simple push through catch and is sure and definite with a red symbol clearly visible for fire mode. 
The CR600 comes with fixed front sight on its silencing effect barrel end. Note I said effect because I wouldn't class this as a silencer. But then again, the gun isn't that loud anyway. It then has adjustable rear sights for both height and windage. More importantly to me, it has the ability to fit a scope. But the rails are pretty small and could restrict which scope you use. So check before you buy a scope to fit it. Power output. Well, it's not 12 foot pounds. Well, at least this one isn't. Here's the figures. As you can see, it's hitting around an average of 604 feet per second, which equates to 7.3 foot pounds or 9.9 .9 joules. So not the most powerful of rifles. But if I was a skin on a rice pudding, I'd still be very worried. Accuracy. The target shooting you've just seen was shot out at 10 metres for two reasons. One, the weather was diabolical at the time of testing this. And more importantly, two, the power level we have just seen would tell me not to use this at extended distances. Certainly not for shooting quarry. It did, however, prove to be quite an accurate little gun and will probably fare quite well out to about 20 or 30 meters if you were target shooting. Certainly with a scope fitted anyway. This then leaves two questions. Is it any good? And who would use it? Yes, it is pretty good considering its budget price tag, both in quality and accuracy. It's light and you could easily carry it around all day. Who is it for? I can think of two uses. Short range rat control or the like in barns or small back gardens. And as a really good starter gun for young shooters because of its smaller size, lighter weight, and they can use it without letting them loose with a higher power rifle.